Hello there everyone, my name is Tom, and today I have a, another project that I'd like to share with you using the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. Today I will be applying filters in the module type window. I'm going to scroll down here a little bit and show you the materials for today's project. First I will be using an Allen Bradley Compax Logic controller, the L33ER, and also the Studio 5000 Logix Designer software. Now I'm going to go to the hands-on portion of the video. And the first thing that I'm going to do is come over here to the control organizer and come down to the I.O. configuration. And for the 1769 bus here, I'm going to click on it and highlight it and then right click and select new module. Now that opens up this window here and it's called select module type. As you can see, there are a bunch of controllers listed here. And if I keep scrolling down, we'll show the controllers. And there are 58 displayed out of 58 module types found. Now, what I like to do is I like to narrow this search down as much as possible if I'm not familiar with the uh, actual catalog number is. So I'm gonna come over here and Go to show filters here and it brings up these filters here now i can filter them for the module type or the vendor type so i'm going to come over here for the module type category filter window and i'm going to check the top box and that is going to remove all of the io cards here now i'm going to come down here to digital and that's going to give me all the input and output cards. Next, I'll come over here to the module type vendor filters and I'll click the top box here, uncheck everything, and then I will click on Ellen Bradley. Now, there are several different manufacturers along with several different types of modules that we could select. So, if we look at our filter, we now have only 22 modules out of 58. Now that's actually considerably less, and it's a lot easier to choose from. So that's it for this video. So if you liked it or learned something, let me know, leave a message. Otherwise, I'll see you next video.